What's up guys, Des here, and today I wanted to make a video about 20 goals I have for 2020. So some of them aren't really goals, they're just kind of like things I want to do, things that, like activities I want to do and stuff. And other, other of them are more like resolutions of like like productive things, milestones to hit, and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make this video kind of like um, a reminder to myself. And I feel like if I put it out into the world, then there's going to be more pressure for me to actually achieve them. So yeah, here are 20 goals I want to achieve in 2020. So the first one is to get my Australian visa and move to Australia. Um, I know there's everything going on in Australia, as most of you probably know with the wildfires and stuff. So I'm hoping I can go over there and volunteer and help out the animals or people or whatever can be done to help. So I'm hoping that goes through and I get to do that, hoping for the best for Australia. I'll actually link some links down below where you can go and donate. Even a dollar helps, anything helps. But yeah, hopefully I get to go there. If not, then I'm thinking New Zealand. But the first big thing for 2020 is to move to Australia. My second goal for 2020 is to travel to 10 new countries. Now that might seem like a lot, but this one will be done in spring because I'm going on a like seven week backpacking trip in Europe. So I'll be going to so many different countries in Europe. So I'll hopefully hit about eight of those. And then if I move to Australia, that will be the ninth. And then once I'm in Australia, I hope to go to New Zealand and some places in Asia and stuff. So hopefully we'll be hitting 10 new countries in 2020. The third one is one that I'm currently working on and that's to become good at snowboarding. So I started learning snowboarding in 2019, last year in November, and now I'm currently in the process of trying to get better. It's a work in progress. I'm finally know I know how to turn now. I just need to get good at it. My fourth goal for 2020 is kind of similar and that's to learn how to surf. So hopefully I'll be doing that this summer when I go to Tofino for a bit. And then also in Australia, I want to become a surf bum, live on the beach, well, not live on the beach, but spend so much time on the beach and learn how to surf. Number five is a pretty big one and one that's been on my list for so many years now, yet I have failed to do so every single year. So hopefully this is the year I make it happen, but I want to start writing my book and also hopefully finish it. Fingers crossed. I mean, I don't know if I'll publish it in 2020, but at least have it started and hopefully done by 2021. Number six would be to grow my YouTube audience. And I don't have a specific number that I want to hit because numbers aren't important to me, but it's so fun getting to connect with so many more of you. I have so many people messaging me about BAM and stuff because they also want to move here. So it's so fun getting to share my knowledge and experiences with you guys. And I have a bunch of videos planned. I scheduled them all today. So yeah, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join because I would love to grow my audience in 2020. Number six would be to buy an actual film camera because I'm always using these disposable cameras and they're my favorite thing when I get the film developed, it's like Christmas morning. I haven't gotten these done. They're all from Banff and I'm only going to do them when I go home in three months. So it's going to be so fun to look back on the memories. But I want to buy a film camera this year and get into film photography because I've just been really into photography that just feels more authentic and real rather than trying to pose for Instagram. Number eight is to go skydiving. I've always wanted to do it. Hopefully I'll get to do it in Australia or maybe Hawaii. But yeah, number eight is to go skydiving. Number nine is to live a more sustainable and vegetarian lifestyle. So I think I'm pretty sustainable at the moment, but I want to push to be even more so in 2020. And then with the vegetarian lifestyle, I may mainly eat vegetarian alternatives at the moment. The only time I eat meat is if I'm out or if somebody else cooks it. I never buy it myself. Number 10 is to visit Hobbiton in New Zealand. The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit movies are my absolute favorite movies. I was watching the first Hobbit just yesterday. I want to visit Hobbiton so badly. Like, I don't think you understand. I want to live there. I just want to walk in those green fields of rolling hills and just feel like I'm in the movie. Number 11 is to travel with fellow creators. So if there's any fellow creators out there who want to travel, hit me up. Um, I definitely want to do a trip to Bali once I'm in Australia since it's so close. I want to do a trip to Bali or Thailand or somewhere in Asia with some fellow creators. So if you know anybody who would be interested, let me know, Insta Instagram me, DM me on Instagram, and let's make it happen. Number 12 is to learn a new language and speak a third language fluently. So I currently speak English and French, and I was learning Hungarian in the summer, but I gave it up. So I definitely want to start learning Hungarian again, or maybe Italian. So I'm in between Hungarian and Italian, just because my family is Hungarian and Italian. I don't know, I just think it would be cool to learn, and I'm also going to, going to Italy in the spring, so I would love to learn one of those fluently. And number 13 is to cut my phone usage by 50%, which might not seem like enough, but I definitely want to try cutting my phone usage by a lot in this new year. Currently, I'm averaging about three hours a day on my phone, which is time that could be spent like reading or meditating or going out with people and doing things. 
so I definitely want to stop using my phone as much. The 14th goal for 2020 is to give back to my family. This has been a goal I've been trying to accomplish for a couple years now. I owe my sister so much money and it's really sad and I really want to pay her back. And I just want to give back to my family for everything they've given me. My dad bought me my camera and stuff, so I just want to be able to give back to him, bring him on a trip. I don't know if it'll happen this year, but just give back in small ways at the moment and then hopefully be able to, be able to bring them on trips and stuff like that. Numero 15 is to hike my first big mountain and I'm looking at the one that I probably will do this summer when I come back to Banff and that's Cascade Mountain. Actually, I can't really see it right now because it's there's a snowstorm outside. But I look at this mountain every single morning and this summer I'll be at the top of it looking down. Number 16 is to watch more sunrises which I've been doing every single day since the sun doesn't rise until like 8.30 and it's pitch black when I wake up. If you saw my last vlog then you saw that. But I just want to be able to watch more sunrises in nicer places. So like once it's actually warmer out, because right now it's like negative 42 in, in Banff in Alberta. But once it's like warmer out, like actually get out, go for a walk and see the sunrise. Number 17 is something I've never had in my life and that's to have a stable income. I've always changed jobs and like lived in different places. And yeah, I do get like an income. I get a pay every two weeks. But it's never been stable and I've never been able to save. So I definitely want to start making more money in 2020 and reach more money goals, financial goals, and just be financially independent and stable to be able to travel and do all the things that I want to do and be able to give back to the people that I care about. Number 18 might sound stupid, but it's to face my fear of riding bikes. So I fell off my bike when I was like 12 and I haven't really ridden a bike since. Every time people have asked me to, I refuse to, but I really want to face my fear of riding bikes because I feel like it's so sustainable. I could travel so easily that way. And I used to love riding my bike for like three hours after school when I was younger. So I just need to face my fear and uh, bite the bullet and just get on a bike again. The 19th one sounds simple, but it's probably one of the hardest and that's to live presently. So just be in the moment and appreciate it. Just be in the moment and appreciate the moment while it's there. And just like take advantage of all the moments that I can take advantage of. And the 20th goal for 2020 is to just do things when I have the time. There's so many times where I have like a couple of hours free and I just like stay lazy in my bed, but I just wanna take advantage and like go for a walk, go have a coffee with a friend and just take advantage of all the time that I have instead of spending it on my phone. Cause these moments are like the moments that make me feel good about myself. And those are the ones that I want to remember. So that's it, that's most of my goals, 20 of my goals for 2020. There's a bunch of other things I would love to accomplish, but those are just some of the major ones, some of the things I wanna do, some of the things I want to accomplish. Let me know what you guys want to accomplish in 2020, your goals down below. Subscribe if you're new here, cause remember one of my goals is to grow my audience and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the new year and I'll see you guys next time for a new video. Goodbye.